The Gift to the Earth Award is a, um, is a, is a scheme that WWF developed uh, in 1996, which was a way to celebrate and recognize uh, important conservation achievements that have been made by uh, governments, individuals, companies, uh, organizations um, that uh, contribute to WWF's global priorities. The Carpathian Convention will be awarded the, this uh, gift to the earth uh, in recognition of the transformational role it had in uh, facilitating, engaging its seven member states and the responsible stakeholders to take actions to pro preserve the natural values of the region, as well as acting as a model for cross-border cooperation. We're very uh, helpful for pushing forward uh, WWF's priorities uh, on preserving um, virgin and old growth forest, promoting responsible forest management, securing ecological corridors, addressing the diverse key threats and drivers engaging um, countries in the Carpathian region, exchanging information, developing joint actions, promoting partnership at EU level and promoting uh, sustainable development uh, model for the region um, like a, a circular economy uh, strategy. Um, and to date we've had uh, the, be the pleasure to, to give out some 113 gifts to the earth to date. The first one was uh, celebrated in uh, 1996 uh, in Russia with the Sakhar Republic uh, committing to protect 70 million hectares. 110 governments have made uh, commitments um, to, to preserve our planet in, in that way. A very powerful tool to celebrate uh, the successes of, of these uh, conservation actors uh, in a way to, for WWF to recognize them publicly uh, and to celebrate it globally. There was uh, a big movement and many, many civil society organizations were involved and uh, there were obviously the member states were very closely involved and um, a lot of scientists were involved and also businesses and parliamentarians and EU institutions and so on. And I think all of them have something right worked out, I think, because we all share something. It's easy to identify with Carpathians for people who are from there or who are the stakeholders and we all share a Carpathian dream. And I think that's for this dream we get today the, this gift of today also award that I'm going to accept on behalf of a lot of people. In the future, we need really uh, uh, more uh, platforms, new platforms and new uh, platforms that, bring to, that work across the borders in the international world and that work across all the sectors. And so I think that Carpathian uh, Convention is still crucially placed at a very interesting part of Europe that cross, cuts across the borders of the European Union, that involves Ukraine, that involves uh, 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 Serbia. So that is something that is going to uh, uh, um, become, I think, a very, very important region also for Europe in the future. And it's a development region. And in this respect, the Capital Convention will continue to play the role to uh, uh, preserve the natural capital and to safeguard basically this heritage as a benefit for us, but also for the future generations.